Let's go and take a look. First of all, here's our function. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go and identify the domain of our function. If I'm asking you to find the domain and range as well as the inverse. So to find the domain, we can say that the domain of this function is, am I dividing by any variable or taking the square root of a variable? So I have no constraints, right? Negative infinity to infinity. To find the range, though, I need to find the inverse. So again, we follow along with our steps. I'm going to work a little bit smoother with this, because I think everybody kind of follows with the process. But mostly, the mistakes I've seen, though, are all at the same point in time, which I'll tell you when that happens. So first thing we do is replace y with x, or y, f of x with y, swap the x and the y's, and then solve for y. So I'm just going to rewrite that with the y on the other side. It doesn't really matter. But um, to solve for y, I need to undo squaring. So I'm going to introduce the square roots. Notice how I use the, um, I use the verbiage introduce the square root. Because whenever I introduce the square root, I have to make sure I include the positive and the negative value, plus or minus. So therefore, I'm actually going to have two values, x plus 7 and y equals negative square root of x plus 7. Right? Remember, we introduced the square root. OK? You guys agree with me? Yes? OK. Now, the next step is um, we need to find the domain. Right? Well, we have a range. Let's make sure our, excuse me, hold on. It's coming? No. Yes, it is. <coughs> ah, thank you. So let's go ahead and find the domain of these functions. It doesn't really matter which one, because remember, the domain of a radical function is has to be, whatever is inside the radical has to be greater than or equal to 0. So for to find the domain, I will just say x plus 7 has to be greater than or equal to 0. Subtract 7, subtract 7. x has to be greater than or equal to negative 7. Therefore, my domain is all numbers that are equal to 7 or greater. So negative 7 to infinity is my domain. Does everybody agree with that? So therefore, I can say the range is from negative 7 to infinity. Okay. Now, 